Good morning friends, Linda here from my fantasy homestead. Today we are in my allotment for my August allotment update. There was massive storms and I got into like a petrification kind of point in my life and I didn't film anything for three weeks. It took a lot to get me myself out of it because I was literally sitting in on my couch and being inside my head screaming at myself going like get up you need to do things and I just didn't and I don't know what happened and it was scary <laughs> but now that we are out of this kind of weird paralysis mode I need to do things I still need to do things there's so much that's gone on and happened around the allotment and um, I'll show you. It's, it's, it's insane. My corn has flowers at last. Yay! I think we're gonna start the harvest with beans. I have beans. I don't have my spadey thing. I will see if I can dig out some garlic because it's completely brown and I think it might be rotting underneath the ground. I wasn't here, I wasn't doing anything. I would come here for beans. I have managed to get quite a few frozen. Yeah, we're gonna finish with beans this morning, then the beetroot, then I have some cabbages. Onions need coming out as well, because I just have noticed that they are pretty dead. And I have lots of flowers, lots of seeds to do. <sighs> you name it, we have it. Probably. These bean plants have provided me with so much free food. I I love it. I planted 64 plants and I think about 50 of them came up, which is pretty good considering uh, of the drought that we had in the start of the year. I think by this point uh, my bean plants have provided me with about 10 kilos of beans. I have frozen about 9 of it and we have been eating fresh as much as possible. But yeah, very very happy about all of this. I think the bean plants are going to be finishing off very very soon because the, the harvests are slowing down. And I accidentally broke this courgette. Unfortunately, we are at my beetroot bed. Uh, some of them are bolting though, and I will need to harvest them. I already harvested some, and they are at my home in the fridge, ready to be processed, which I need to do within the next couple of days. But I think I can take a lot more from here now as well to give the rest of them some room to grow because I did them in Charles Dowding method of like three plug plants in, in a module and then as they grow they kind of like spread out and push each other away but in the same time you need to take the biggest one because then the other two have more room to grow kind of but you need to be very careful when you're taking it out because the roots are intertwined so a lot of things to think about <laughs>
here is my second patch of beetroot because I don't like the red beetroot I read that other varieties taste differently so I was thinking wow I'm gonna plant other varieties of beetroot I planted a golden one here and it looks like it has actually enjoyed itself a lot it's very low on the ground so I didn't think that it was growing really well but it is <laughs> My onions are next. I don't know if you can see it, but they look very, very sad. They're not the biggest, but I don't think that they have made like skins either. And yeah, I think the storm got them and it looks like some kind of disease. Maybe it was too wet. I don't know. I'm just gonna harvest them all try to cure them in my garage but I don't know how it's gonna go we can, we can just try I think I'm gonna harvest tomatoes next because anything that has a bit of a rosy tint I know it looks green but it isn't tomatoes ripen from inside out so if you see any kind of blush on the tomato it means that inside is already ripe and it's just starting to come out towards the outside besides if you pick them like this then there is less chance that if it rains and if it suddenly gets really really wet that they will split from the amount of moisture that the plant's trying to push in still um yeah i'm gonna harvest all of the blushing ones i think i have quite a few of those <laughs> I have been very lax in my harvesting of my herbs as well. I have basil and sage here that look really good and I want to dehydrate some because I'm not gonna get any. It's, it's all going to seed and it's getting like really woody. So tomatoes are not ready yet. 
the best the next best thing is to dehydrate my basil and then it can wait for tomatoes to come in it's been a very wet year and not much sun like i remember last year around this time i was drowning in tomatoes but this year they're all green literally like i don't think it's hot enough for them yet so it just keeps on going i have topped most of them and so they don't grow they they spend most of the um most of their essence to to grow new tomatoes but no nothing and then i will need to collect some calendula seeds i have some radishes the pods are starting to dry out and i will take those home as well um radish seeds because my radishes went to seed and i allowed them to do their thing <laughs> oh and i did have a fail of carrots if you remember, I, I replanted carrots in this bed twice. But we did have one or two come up. I thought it was gonna be big, but it's a stubby little thing. But this is my first carrot of the season, yay! Wait, there's another one. Oh, I think it was not crumbly enough for them to penetrate the soil, like go deeper, because carrots want a very loose soil and this is like a first year dug bed and it was quite hard clay. I tried to put like amendments in but apparently I didn't do a good enough job, but these are my carrots. <laughs> they smell so nice though. I just decided to harvest a radish from the, the white radishes that I had here. They're not going to seed yet, but I might have had to harvest them a bit earlier. I mean, how big can a radish be, you know? Um, harvest another one for just giggles because I don't know if this is gonna be edible or is it gonna be too woody but it is massive it's so big wow. and it doesn't look like it has any damage either from any pests or anything the second one's a bit more normal size for this radish It's been two hours now and I have finished everything and then me and my radishes are gonna go home. My trolley's full full, like full. This is just silly.
thank you very much for watching today guys and I'll see you next time I really appreciate every single one of you I went on holiday and then I had the paralysis of not being able to do anything for three weeks and you were still there for me and I saw people watching my videos which really helped because it just got me out of the stump so if you like and um, enjoy the videos please subscribe and um, like it and I'll see you next time thank you friends bye bye my home garden is turning into a jungle I kind of love it and I kind of feel stifled by the lack of the space that I have here last year I had a lot of wasps come in but this year I think I'm losing all of my brassicas due to the cabbage white caterpillars because cabbage whites have been all over my garden all the time I've been harvesting my blackberries I think I've got a couple of kilos now all of my nasturtiums are going because the caterpillars keep eating them as you can see caterpillars forever all of my kale's gone all of my cauliflower is gone broccoli gone I saved some peas that they probably need to come out to go into the seed this is a very old seed variety that I got from real seeds in UK I think it was from 1850s probably they grow really long and I've been enjoying them but I didn't have much seed for them this year well last year so this year I let more to go to seed so I have more variety more seed <laughs> As you can see the decimation of everything. My sunflowers are not, not blooming yet, but I hopefully think that they will bloom soon. Thank you very much for watching and um, a great caterpillar day to you all.